Hey everybody, it's your friendly technical community manager, Mingus. And I'm Weston, a technical product manager on the Effect House team. He's friendly too. <laughs> Today, we're gonna to give you a summary of some of the awesome features we've added to Effect House this year. Should we get started? Let's do it. So we can start with generative effects. These use generative AI technology to transform the user's face dynamically in real time. We've launched 15 of these in Effect House, and some of them are really wild. So generative effects are a one-click feature that instantly add character to your effect. Accessed through the object menu, generative effects can be used for all sorts of creations. Hair eraser and eyebrow eraser can be used to mask out real world features, to then layer makeup, wigs, or other objects on top of them. Effects like thrilled or sad face are more humorous. You can even take a look into the future with aged. We have a pretty robust set of physics features in Effect House. I know, I'm a big fan of them. Let's dive in. Components like rigid body and collider put objects under the influence of Effect House's physics engine. This allows you to simulate real world physics inside of your effects. I'll show you how to add a rigid body to a sphere. First, we'll click the sphere and we'll go add component. Here, I'll add a rigid body component to the ball. That'll make it fall. Then I'll add a sphere collider. Now the ball will bounce all over the alpaca's head. Creators truly never cease to amaze us with their creativity and technical skills. Like when creator Not Iron Man used rigid body and collider physics features to create the viral wrecking ball trend. This wrecking ball challenge was a series of rhythm effects that garnered over 4 million posts. An extensive collection of assets live in our Intool asset library. We offer both 3D and 2D assets, a range of materials, face effects, filters, screen effects, and visual scripting setups to help get projects rolling. Depending on the month, there may also be assets available specific to ongoing challenges, like our Minecraft Live Effect Challenge. One of my favorite assets is under the materials category, and it's called Tiger Skin. Uh, with just one click, you can see I'm able to bring it into my project. And then if I pull an asset from our 3D category, like Rancher Cowboy Hat, you'll see that I'm quickly able to combine the two. And now I have this tiger skin hat on. We have a few features in Effect House that use AA technology. The first I'm gonna show you is Asset Studio. In the top bar here, you'll see I can click Asset Studio, and then this window pops up. What this does is it allows me to easily generate 2D stickers or face masks using text prompts. So if we use the default text prompt right here at Cheeseburger, you'll see if I click Generate, within a few seconds, Effect House will provide me with four 2D cheeseburger stickers to choose from. I'm then able to select a few and click Import to import them into my project. If I'm not happy with that, I can always click Generate again, and it will give me four new stickers to choose from. I can also jump over to Face Mask. What this feature will do is it's gonna give you a 2D texture mapped to our Face Mask object. So with one click, it will apply onto our Face Mask. So again, I'll use the default prompt here, a tiger. Same as stickers, I can click Generate. And then within a few seconds, you'll see I have four options to choose from for tiger makeup. Throw me a curveball. An alpaca. I'll put an alpaca, and within a few seconds, you'll see we have these four alpaca face masks to choose from. I will do this one in the bottom left, import it, and you can now see within seconds, I am an alpaca. Wow. The next AI feature we have is access through our home screen. So for Artmaker, I'm gonna access it through our template panel. So I will just select it right here. And what this feature does is it's gonna allow me to apply a style using AI to the entire effect. So that being the camera texture, objects I've added, it will uh, redraw them all in the style of my choice. So I'm gonna click Artmaker here in the hierarchy. I'll click Generate Artwork. And then I have options of four styles. So there's pop art, fantasy, retro anime, or classic anime. And then I also have control of the text prompt. So because of the month, I will do a festive holiday scene, bright lights, colorful, snow falling, um, happy. And then uh, I'll click confirm. And then as soon as I tap on my preview panel, it should apply my prompt to my screen. Cool. Weston, do you wanna tell them about user media texture? Absolutely. 
User media texture is an asset that allows TikTok creators to incorporate images from their camera roll into effects. You can use user media texture to make an effect with a custom image as the background, kind of like the green screen effect on TikTok. But you can also use it as a texture on anything, including 3D assets. With the user media texture feature, a creator in France named SIGGRAPH made an incredible effect called Custom Gallery, which allows video creators to showcase a series of their images as if they're wandering through a museum. It's been used by almost 2 million creators. That's a lot of museums. Let's talk about one of the most underrated parts of effect creation, the icon. The icon. I have this effect here, but I need an icon for it. For those who don't know, when you're publishing an effect to TikTok, you're gonna need a little icon or a thumbnail for it. So what we've done is we've made that super easy for you. If you don't wanna jump to another software, we have this feature here. It says create icon in the tool. You can click that, and then within one click, you'll see I have all these options of faces to choose from, and I can apply my effect by default to any face that I want. Uh, when I'm happy with the face, I can crop it, I can move it around, and then I can click Done. When submitting my effect, automatically now, I will have that thumbnail applied as my effect icon. Weston, would you like to tell them about Target Tracker? Yeah. The Target Tracker is a new object that allows AR objects to respond to real world images. Target Tracker identifies your upload image, known as the target, and instantly situates a designated object wherever the target is detected in real life. To add a Target Tracker object, click Add Object in the Hierarchy panel and go to AR Tracking and then select Target Tracker. It's that easy. When we launched Target Tracker, we hosted a worldwide scavenger hunt where creators from all over the world use TikTok to find stickers we placed in the real world that could be activated through an effect. And congratulations to our winners. Let's talk about Social Kit. So Social Kit's a very fun feature we offer. It's a texture that you can apply to your effects. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me the ability to pull information from my TikTok friends' profiles. So it can pull their profile photos or it can also pull their usernames but it has to be a mutual. So it has to be someone I follow who also follows me back. Like us. Like us. Um, so as an example, I could make a randomizer effect, who's your co-host, I could use social kit, and then it would go through my TikTok friends, and then hopefully it would land on your profile. Creator Bartel Games combines social kit and our physics toolkit to make a mini game called Crazy Road 2, where you have to drive faster and faster, dodging profile pictures from your friends list. Weston, I know I've said this a lot, do you wanna tell them about our performance test? I'd love to. Cool. Prior to submitting your effect, it's highly recommended that you test your effect's performance to ensure it works properly after publication. To test your effect's performance, click the Test Performance button in the title bar, then click Run Test. If your effect passes the performance test, you may proceed to submit your effect. If your effect fails the performance test, click View Suggested to open the Technical Optimization Guide, which contains guidelines on troubleshooting performance issues. Hey Mingus, why don't you show us the draw on touch interaction? So as Weston alluded, we have what's called interactions in our tool. Those are prepackaged subgraphs that any of you can use that hopefully make your life a lot easier. In order to access this particular interaction, I'm going to have to add a screen image first. So once I add my screen image, uh, I can click it. And then down here, I can click add interaction. And then through the screen touch category, I can scroll down and select Draw on Touch. What that's gonna do is it's gonna bring up this Draw on Touch interaction, and you'll see right away, Weston, I can draw on my screen. So this is a cool way if you want to add the option for users to create their own art within the effect. Um, if you want people to be able to draw pictures or write things in their effect, there's also all sorts of properties you can mess around with, like the color and the size of the stroke, uh, the feathering of it. Oh, and don't forget about our entire material editor. We have a whole other session for that. So if you're curious to learn more about material editor, stay tuned. That was a lot of features, but I think we launched a lot of stuff outside of the Effect House tool. That's true. We added a lot of programs this year to help you learn how to use Effect House, monetize your creativity, and more. We have a program called Ambassadors to celebrate and support our top creators. They get first dibs on new features and updates, as well as partnership opportunities. You can apply for this program by getting a diamond badge in Effect House. If you're interested in becoming an ambassador, we have a session later in this conference where you can hear directly from a few top creators. So definitely tune into that. Learning any new tool from scratch can be tough. 
So we launched a video course called Crash Course, which shows you the basics. We also launched an accelerator program, which took creators through six weeks of tutorials and workshops to help them level up. We already wrapped up this year's accelerator, but stay tuned for the announcements about next year's accelerator program in 2024. We launched a ton of challenges this year. One of my favorites was the Minecraft challenge we wrapped up a few weeks ago. We saw so many fun games and effects made for this challenge. I'm sure you saw them on your feed. The Minecraft assets are actually still available in our asset library, so you can make a sheep or creeper effect anytime you like. I also loved our Top Creator Hackathon, which is a challenge we organized for creators with platinum and diamond badges. The caliber of submissions for this challenge were incredible. It was also really fun to see our creator Jan win our behind the scenes challenge and get to travel to the Cannes Film Festival and walk the red carpet. Congrats, Jan. Your effect really blew us away. One last thing, our Effect Creator Rewards program. This program provides cash payouts to creators for trending effects on TikTok. We recently lowered the requirement to join and expanded it to 14 more regions. Wow, that's a lot going on. It's just the start, my friend. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Come hang out with us on our forum anytime. Stay tuned for our next session, coming right up. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.